In no particular order, here are some of the tastiest eggs you can actually eat. Number 10, Bantam Eggs. You know how there's a standard poodle and then there's the mini poodle? Well, this is kind of the same situation here. A Bantam chicken is a miniature version of a regular chicken. Both birds come from the same family, but Bantam chickens are much smaller. They can vary from half to a third of the size of regular chickens. Their eggs too are smaller than regular chicken eggs. Depending on the Bantam chicken, the eggs can even be smaller than that, weighing only one ounce or less. Originally from the Bantam region in Indonesia, Bantam chickens and their eggs have been a curiosity because of the color of the eggs. Bantam eggs are usually green or blue, but they can be brown or even regular old white on occasion. People who eat Bantam eggs regularly say that the eggs taste different depending on the color of the shell. But science tells us it's really all about the freshness of the eggs and the diet of the chicken. The yolk will taste different depending on the food the chicken has been eating. That sounds about right. What's your favorite way to make your eggs? Let us know in the comments. And oh yeah, do us a favor and hit this thumbs up button right here. Number nine, emu eggs. If you think emu eggs are anything like chicken eggs, well, it's a good thing we're here to help. The color, the taste, even the texture is different. Let's start with the bird itself. Emus are the second largest bird by height, only second to the ostrich. An emu egg weighs between one to one and a half pounds and can be as large as six inches in length. So an emu egg is roughly equivalent to 13 chicken eggs, which is quite a large breakfast if you ask me. Also, emus lay their eggs while standing. That means the eggshells are very hard to break. No one would recommend boiling an emu egg as well because the shells are so thick it takes more than an hour and a half of boiling to cook the egg. The flavor of emu eggs is interesting as well. Apparently, the eggs are much richer tasting than chicken eggs and much thicker. The egg white consistency is almost like glue, and when you break the yolk open, it apparently just sits there like silly putty. But the most striking thing about emu eggs is the color. From rich turquoise to deep green, the color is for camouflage as emus lay their eggs in the grass. Number eight, goose eggs. Do you ever eat an egg and just wish there was more egg yolk than egg white? That's us over here for sure. It's a good thing there are goose eggs around. Not only are they bigger than regular eggs, but they also have a deeper flavor. A goose egg is equivalent to three or four chicken eggs. The flavor of goose eggs is similar to chicken eggs, but richer. But just as they're tastier, they're also fattier and heavier. The American Heart Association recommends people to stick to less than 300 milligrams of cholesterol daily, and one goose egg has 1,227 milligrams of cholesterol. So goose eggs will totally destroy that recommendation. However, there's more scientific research that shows that dietary cholesterol may not be what causes heart disease. That's a discussion for another day. Anyways, geese are seasonal layers. Unlike chickens, geese will only lay eggs from April through September. Also, goose egg shells are much harder than chicken egg shells. This is apparently useful in the arts and crafts community because empty goose egg shells actually go around three bucks a piece for on the internet. Number seven, guinea fowl eggs. If you ever get the chance to eat a guinea fowl egg, be sure to hop on that chance as these eggs are pretty rare. Guinea fowl only lay about 60 eggs a year, which is a rather small quantity compared to standard chickens. So it's not a surprise these eggs are considered a delicacy in North Africa where guinea fowls originate. Guinea fowl eggs are usually ivory with little specks on them. However, there are many white, brown, or tanned eggs too. These eggs are very small, and it takes two or even three of them to be equivalent to one regular chicken egg. But just because they're different in size, it doesn't mean they taste all that different from chicken eggs. However, they do have a higher yolk to white ratio than the regular chicken egg. Because of their small numbers each season, guinea fowl eggs aren't used for commercially food production operations. However, because their chemical composition is similar, you could technically use guinea fowl eggs in recipes such as cakes or cookies. Number six, gull eggs. Just like guinea fowl eggs, gull eggs are rare. Gulls lay only once a year and the eggs are available only for a very short period of time in the spring. In early May, top restaurants around the world offer their customers dishes that contain gulls eggs and sell those dishes at very high prices. But it's for good reason, as the collecting of gull eggs is heavily restricted. 
For example, there are only a very small number of gull egg collectors registered and authorized by the government in the UK. The identities of these license holders is strictly confidential, as are the nesting sites. The collectors can only take one egg from each nest, that way the egg collection doesn't affect gull populations. Restaurants that offer gull eggs on their menus also have to be registered and authorized before selling them to customers. Gull eggs are priced not only for the difficulty of getting them, but because they're supposedly delicious. As much as gulls are clearly seabirds, you won't taste ocean in them. They supposedly don't have the faintest trace of fishy flavor, and some people believe the delicate flavor of the gull egg comes from the ability of the bird to flush the salt from the seawater they drink. Number five, ostrich eggs. Ostrich eggs are without a doubt the largest edible bird eggs you can find. Each egg weighs between three and five pounds. A single ostrich egg is roughly equivalent to two dozen chicken eggs. One egg can easily feed a family. An ostrich, which lays eggs every other day from mid-March to mid-August, that means every bird lays around 80 eggs per year, enough to feed a small army. Just like emu eggs, the ostrich egg shell is coveted because it can be painted, engraved, or carved. These eggshells are so thick and strong, the average adult male can stand on the egg without cracking it. This is why many people use things such as hammers to crack these eggs open. Although the taste of ostrich eggs is very similar to chicken eggs, the texture is completely different. The white is much more gelatinous than a regular chicken egg, and some bits can be translucent when you scramble them. Still, the yolk is as runny as chicken eggs and just as delicious. And just like an emu egg, these giant eggs take forever to boil. It supposedly takes at least two hours to hard boil an ostrich egg. Number four, pheasant eggs. If you ever check out a pheasant egg, you'll notice that it's just slightly larger than a chicken egg. Still, it isn't likely you'll confuse the two if you happen to throw them all together in a bowl. Why? Well, because pheasant egg shells are different in color. From olive green to a rich brown, filled with speckles, some pheasant eggs look like they've been hand-painted. Pheasant eggs are in season from April to the end of June, which isn't a long time. Some people claim pheasant eggs' flavor can be a bit bland as it's described as lighter and less rich than a chicken egg. Still, the taste of pheasant eggs is described as gamey. The color of the eggs on the inside is as interesting as the outside color. The inside of the shell is an interesting pale blue, which contrasts perfectly with their brightly colored yolks. Depending on the diet of the pheasant, its egg's yolk will be a bright yellow or a deep orange. Number three, quail eggs. Picture a brown chicken egg. Now, picture the same egg, but filled with speckles and about five times smaller, and you'll have the image of a quail egg in your head. The average chicken egg weighs around 1.7 ounces. The average quail egg weighs in at around a third of an ounce. So if you ever plan to make scrambled eggs out of quail eggs, you're gonna need several at a time. A portion of scrambled eggs for a single person would be at least eight quail eggs, and that's why these tiny eggs are better served in canapes, as these little eggs have a really high yolk to white ratio. The flavor is very delicate and a bit gamey, just like a pheasant egg. Still, this gamey flavor isn't going to be overwhelming because of the size of the egg. Many cuisines use quail eggs in its recipes, particularly in countries in South America, where quail eggs are widely used and consumed on dishes such as hot dogs and hamburgers. Number two, turkey eggs. If you're expecting some world-changing experience to happen the first time you eat turkey eggs, well, yeah, you'll, you'll be disappointed. However, turkey eggs taste and look very similar to chicken eggs, only larger, so it doesn't mean that it actually tastes bad. However, you shouldn't think that the taste is exactly the same either. Although turkey and chicken eggs contain most of the same nutrients, turkey eggs taste a bit richer than chicken eggs. Turkey eggs contain twice as many calories and grams of fat and four times as much cholesterol. One turkey egg contains more than twice the daily recommended cholesterol intake. Still, the fatty content makes turkey eggs very creamy and soft. They have a high yolk to white ratio and the yolk runs deliciously when fried or soft boiled. Unfortunately, turkey hens lay way less eggs than chicken hens. That's why their eggs are a rare treat. Whereas a regular healthy chicken will lay around 300 eggs a year, turkeys will lay 100 eggs at most, and many are used to get more turkeys rather than sold for consumption. Number one, penguin eggs. Penguin eggs come in many sizes, and the size depends on the species of the penguin. From the emperor penguin, the penguin that inhabits Antarctica, to the African penguin, the penguin that lives in, well, Africa, they all share one thing. 
their eggs are rare. So you know what that means. Yep, they're either very expensive or illegal to get. For example, emperor penguin eggs, which are illegal to get, can weigh up to a little over a pound and be as large as almost six inches across. Still, most penguin eggs aren't really consumed. Emperor penguins are an endangered species. On the other hand, African penguin eggs have been eaten for centuries. Just like any penguin egg, these eggs are a rare treat, but you can only taste them if you're willing to shell out the cash. But what makes penguin eggs truly unique is a powerful and curious substance called penalbumin. This substance is an antifreeze protein that many companies have tried to recreate since its discovery. Penalbumin is what gives penguin eggs their distinctive texture and color. You see, no matter how long you boil penguin eggs, the white part will always be translucent and jelly-like with a bluish color. On the other hand, the yolk is almost orange and has a very fishy flavor, which is something that's probably more of an acquired taste. Here's what's next. To find a whole bunch of eggs in it. The snake, which was likely an African rock python, was pregnant and was about to give birth to dozens of eggs. The eggs are actually considered a delicacy, so it was kind of a good score for the villagers. While the villagers misread this particular situation, make no mistake, a full-grown